Hi everyone, um, so it's been a long time since I have posted a video, um, and you all know why already, and um, I've been promising that when I do post my next video it's going to be on this mini album, <clears throat> because everyone has been asking me to do a tutorial on this album, ever since I posted a little picture of it on my blog. Um, so that's what I'm going to show you today, and I'm just going to show you real quick because um, I'm not feeling well and the faster the better for me. Um, so you're just going to take a regular billfold um, envelope, um, and you can use any size envelope you want because you really don't need any measurements for this project. What you'll do is you'll cut the envelope in half, so I'm just going to do that over here real quick. Next, you're just going to want to um, lick and seal the envelope. Then you're just going to take a regular glue stick. <clears throat> oh, this one's dried out. And <clears throat> you're going to go over the entire top of the envelope. And I like to cover the envelope completely. I'm not doing it right now because I'm just doing this as a demo. Um, because you want the paper to be on there pretty flush. And then I'm going to take the patterned paper that i chosen and glue it on there. And like I said before, there's not going to be any real measurements because you don't need to on this. And you're just going to glue it to that paper. And then you'll cut the excess off. And you'll do the same thing on the back. I'm only going to do the front for this project to save some time. You can use your paper trimmer for this too. Okay, so there's the front of my envelope. And next is you're just gonna cut the corner. And you're just gonna eyeball it. And make sure that when you cut that corner, you keep that piece that you cut off. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that piece and you're gonna flip it over and bring it to the other side so that you have the same measurements. And just cut along that little piece that you did before. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna fold that first, first tab back. And I actually got this idea from someone else on YouTube, and um, her blog is, I think, Two World Wings, um, but I can't be sure, so I'll make sure to post a link um, or her URL on at the end of this video. So you'll fold that back, and then what you're going to do is you're going to put glue on one side. Make sure you cover the entire piece. And then you're going to take another piece of paper, and you're just going to stick it as far as you can over and just flip that closed onto that paper, gluing it on there. And press firmly, and then cut off the excess. So see how simple this is? And you can recycle all those um, bill envelopes that you get in the mail. That's what I did on the album the original album was I used all recycled envelopes. On this one I'm using a new one. But you can use mini envelopes, um, whatever you want. So flip that back over and then do the same thing on the other side. And remember, normally you're going to do front and back, but I'm not doing it for this video. You'll also want to use longer scissors for this and not precision scissors like I'm using. And um, you'll get a straighter edge that way. Okay, so there it is the basic pocket. Next, I'm just going to punch a little hole right here. In the center, just use my crocodile, and I'm just eyeballing it. Of course, you're probably going to want to be more precise with your project. So I've punched my little hole, and I punched it through the tab and the inner part of the envelope. Then, 
I'm just going to pick out a flower. And of course I think it's going to be green. Oh, maybe I'll use a bigger one. There we go. And then you'll need a brad. I'm a little unprepared here. Uh, let me go grab a brad real quick. Okay. So pick out a brad. I'm going to use a white one. And I'm sticking it through both holes because I want this brad to hold the little flap down as well. And there you go. And the next thing you do is you just punch your holes however you want to bind your book so that it looks like this. What I did for this one was I just took some twine and tied little knots at the end and made my own little ringlets. And that's the project. And you can put photos in there, or you can make little tags and stick them in there like that. Um, I think this tag measures, um, oh gosh, what is it, four and a half by three and a half. Um, and those fit nicely in there. So there it is, and I hope you like it. Thanks, guys.